Hello everyone. Have you ever experienced a short circuit in your houses? There's a spark inside the electric box and suddenly the bulbs and the other electrical equipments they start misbehaving, rather misdelivering. So what we do in those cases? We change the fuse. There is a rush of distorted electrical activities in the household. Sometimes the fuse goes off, we change the fuse. Sometimes the whole system needs to be changed. Epilepsy is nothing but a similar short circuit or distorted electrical responses occurring inside the brain. Our brain is a hugely complex material. There a randomized continuous electrical activities go on and on and on. Whenever we see an epileptic patient, there can be the first taboo which occurs in general populations that some ghostly or some uncanny extraterrestrial occurring happening on that patient. Actually it's not. It's a pure science. It's just another disease which can be treated. There is no stigma, no taboo associated with epilepsy dear. Any person can encounter an episode of epilepsy at least once in his lifetime. Some which require treatment, some which don't require treatment. There are some cases of epilepsy which resolve of their own. There are types of epilepsy, partial seizures, where a part, a small portion of the brain distributes some electrical impulses. That part of the brain which represents the body is affected and that part of the body it reciprocates according to the electrical stimuli. For example, if the motor area of the brain resembling uh, representing the hand is a sort of a disorder, then there might be some jerky movements of the hand. That is one partial seizure. That's called partial epilepsy. In some cases, when they generalize a lot, much broader area of the brain is involved, the patient may go unconscious, may lie on the brain. Epilepsy may also manifest as abnormal behavior changes. Even strokes may result into epilepsy. Alcoholism may result into epilepsy. Alcohol withdrawals may result into epilepsy. Mood changes, behavioral changes, stress disorder, extreme stress can be a very much triggered to epilepsy. Even extreme exposure to temperature changes, sub-zero temperature as well as extreme heat, they also may trigger epileptic form focus, which otherwise are dormant inside the brain. There are some genetic factors associated with epilepsy, but it doesn't usually mean that an epileptic form parent will give birth to epileptic form children. And lots and lots of instances they have occurred that epilep both parents being epileptic take their children leading a normal life, healthy life. Even epileptic patients, they lead healthy lives, normal lives. There are instances of great achievers in the world. Alexander the Great, Tony Gregg, the great cricketer, John T. Rose, the currently the fielding coach of Mumbai Indians. There are just a small amount of patients uh, who, are, who have uh, encountered epilepsy in their life and they are undergoing treatments. And by after treatment, they are giving their full out of their abilities. 
you need not worry about epilepsy no just if somebody you or around you is suffering from epilepsy try to remain within yourselves learn to be with you there are lot and lot of treatments available nowadays there are safer medicines along with the treatment where you can prohibit the uh, the attacks coming to you for long time there are well there are definitely some precautions to be taken when uh, you encounter epilepsy for example diving or swimming you need to be cautious try to avoid them whenever you are uh, would by uh, riding a bike or so use proper head gears you must carry an identity card with you so that whenever you get an attack you may uh, be assisted as soon as possible try to remain within company never close the doors uh, of your toilets inform keep informed and remain always with someone or the other now there are some food habits which keep you healthy there are some food habits which keep you epileptic from free from epileptic from activities proper medication mood changes they need to be controlled and definitely smoking and alcoholism these are to be strictly avoided alcohol is a very very troublesome nuisance trigger to epilepsy please avoid it contact your doctors the doctors are there we are there to help you around remember one thing there is no epilepsy that is not controllable i am not using the term curable yes about 30% of epilepsies are curable but the rest 60% or 70% they are very much controllable either by medicines you might have to take the medicines for a longer period or even by surgery you can regain your life normal healthy life even now we have instances of people who are getting they are driving license renewed after epilepsy surgeries so epilepsy is no more a stigma epilepsy is just treated like just another disease live with it get treated get proper medication consult your neurologist or neurosurgeon and we are all there to help you epilepsy se darna nahi ise haske iske sath rehna sikho thank you very much